positive vibes and I want to first thank our new subscribers we really appreciate you we thank you so so much to the returning subscribers you are the reason we sit here guys every day and shoot these videos you really motivate us and we really thank God for you and we pray for you by the way guys that may the Lord bless you may the Lord enlarge you may the Lord protect you and shield you together with your family we don't take it for granted that you sit down and watch our videos we appreciate a lot a lot a lot guys and uh, remember we are road to 5,000 guys subscribe share the video like the video comment down below like you always do some of you actually take their time to explain to us in details about the Caribbean islands and we really appreciate that we thank you so so much I can name them some of them have already known them they return to the channel every day and tell us a lot of things about the Caribbeans and we appreciate that very very much today guys I'm going to shoot a video whereby I'm going to tell you guys that we are one I came to realize that because Dimwango departed from Trinidad and came to Grenadas I hope the spell the pronunciation is correct Grenadas and in that island I realized there is a lot of similarity a lot of them a lot of similarity between Grenadas and Jamaica and not even that there are also similarities in uh, Grenadas island Jamaica and Kenya where we are so I realized actually it is true we are one people it's only that we are separated by many seas many oceans but we are one. I want to highlight some of the similarities I found in Grenadas that are similar to Jamaica, first of all, and then I go to similarity in Kenya. Let me start with Jamaica. Do you know, guys, this country is almost, you can actually mistake it to be Jamaica. First of all, when Dimongo was walking along the streets of Grenadas, Mangoes were the first thing, and you all know the tingle. Mangoes are actually everywhere in Jamaica, around the streets of Jamaica, they are mangoes. And I realized that in, ja in uh, Grenadas, mangoes are really available, very much available. What about bananas? We found that plantain and bananas are a lot in Jamaica. And you know they are also a lot in Grenadas? It is like Jamaica in another version. Not even that, guys. There are beautiful beaches in Grenadas. Just like the beautiful beaches we saw in Jamaica, in Ocho Rio, in uh, St. Mary, in all the parishes that the Mongo and their group were going. And even Kino, where he is going. We have seen a lot of beautiful beaches and even in Grenadas, they are very, very beautiful beaches. Not even that. Did you know that tourist is one of the main source of income in Jamaica? Main source of income in Jamaica and farming. And you know Grenadas is the same. The main source of income is actually tourism and farming in Grenadas. And we're going to tell you the kind of uh, crops that the Grenadians, I hope I'm saying it correct, grow. So there is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of similarity between Jamaica and Grenadas. What about the flag? We all are aware that everywhere you could go in Jamaica, you could see the colors of the flag portrayed even in the shops. Even along the streets, even in the airport. And this I found it in Grenadas. They have put their flags along the streets everywhere. You can actually not mistake the flag of Grenadas with its yellow and red and is it green? Yeah. So you can clearly see the flag everywhere you go, just like in Jamaica. 
Everywhere we went in Jamaica, we could actually see the colors of the flag. And I found that it is similar to Grenada's. Not even that, guys, so that you can know we are one. It's only that we are separated, but we are one people. Not even that, the warm climate in Grenada's. The warm climate in Grenada's. One of the things that I said attract people to go to Jamaica is the warm climate it is there is sun almost every day and therefore this happens even in uh, Grenada's and not even that I have talked about the beaches I've talked about the mango the flag they share also a very very common factor common denominator Jamaica and Grenada's they share the fact that the people of Jamaica are very welcoming very great, very social, ready to explain. Actually, the Jamaican people have actually made me to run a lot about the Caribbean islands. They literally go to the comment section and explain in details. Guys, sometimes you see us talking, you see us if uh, we are not, we are just exaggerating. This is the reality of the people of Jamaica. They'll go to the comment section. If you ask them a question, they'll go there and explain in details until you understand what they are saying. And I saw this even in Granada's. Actually, the Mwango was being explained to where to go, what to find, where to visit, where to find this and these things. Now, even the Jamaicans were coming to the comment section when the Mwango was asking some questions in Grenada's and the Jamaicans were explaining to her because some of the Jamaicans obviously have visited Grenada's and they were explaining in details everything and I, by the way for the first time I realized that Jamaicans love Grenada's island they love them because I realized that uh, with Trinidad there is no much what can I call it not even hatred but there is that attention in between them. But in Grenada's, people were there in the comment section talking about Grenada's, uh, explaining about it, and these are Jamaicans talking about like that. So I was talking about the people of Grenada's. They are humble, they are welcoming, they are cool, they are social, they are ready to explain every detail about their country. Actually, we saw the Rasta, the mango found, the one they were eating the mangoes together, and the Rasta was so ready to explain about them. By the way, that is another common factor between Jamaica and Grenada's. There are Rasta people in Jamaica, there are Rasta people in, in Grenada's, and there are also Rasta people, by the way, in Trinidad. We saw them. So these islands, they have a lot in common. They share a lot, a lot, a lot in common. So this Rastafarian was ready to explain to the Mango about his country. And we also saw the gentlemen, actually, the ones who are talking to the Mwango, explaining to her where she's going to eat. And actually, they were so friendly, they were so welcoming, they were explaining to her in every detail. And even one of them volunteered to take her loud. And I also heard, by the way, the people from Grenada's, you can actually comment and tell us whether it is true. I heard them saying they eat monkeys. <laughs> yeah, so can you tell us, uh, because I heard it is a type of monkey. I didn't understand the name of that type of monkey they eat. But you can actually comment down below because I know you are very good at explaining to us. Explain to us the name of the monkey that is eaten in Grenada's. Uh, yeah. You explain to us. So these people are very friendly and ready to explain in details about this island. We also saw the women that were selling, uh, is it kangas? We call them kangas here in Kenya. Those pieces of clothes that you tie that uh, the mango bought. They had the colors of Jamaican flags and some of them had the colors of the Rastafarians. And we saw the same thing in Jamaica. Colors of Rastafarian and colors of the flag. And these clothes were being sold in the market. We also saw in Jamaica, in the market, they were selling uh, some, uh, what, what are they called? Some, uh, these kangas, this uh, cloth that you tie, or rather a piece of cloth that you tie, which had the color of Jamaican flag and even the color of the Rastafarians. 
and even the bikinis in Jamaica. We found the bikinis with the color of Rastafarians and the color of Jamaica. And actually, I saw the mango even in uh, Grenada's with the same color. In other words, they value the Rastafarian movement and they also value the Yafras, just like in Jamaica. Now, they share also the Rastafarian people. The Rastafarian people are found in Jamaica and they are also found in Grenada's and we also saw them in Trinidad. So there is a lot of common factors between these islands. And remember even in Trinidad, there are beaches. It's only that we never saw them because uh, the Mwango didn't get the chance to take us around Trinidad. So we see that they have a lot of similarity. Now, what, what else is similar to these islands? We have said that people, uh, they are very, very warm, very welcoming, and also saw something that was common also. There are umbrellas that have been put where the businesses are to cover the items they are selling. That is found in Jamaica. It's also found in Trinidad. I saw it. Umbrellas to cover the items that are being sold. And it is happens here even in Kenya. Far, far, far away from Jamaica, from Trinidad, from uh, Grenada's, we have the same umbrellas covering the items that we sell in the market. So that is another common thing that I found in uh, Grenada's that is similar to Jamaica. And I also saw uh, Jerry. The mango was going to bury Jerry so that she can take. And in Jamaica, Jerry was there in plenty supply. I don't know whether we can call it coconut water or what it is called. But it was there in Jamaica and it was there in uh, Grenada's island. Uh, so, so those are some of the similarities I found in Grenada's island. And there are also a lot of waterfalls in Grenada's island. And we saw a lot of waterfalls in Jamaica. Guys, this land, it's like when you're in Grenada's, it's like you're in Jamaica. It's only that Grenada's is a small island than Jamaica. We also saw some forests in Jamaica, very beautiful forests, rainforests, and there are also forests in Grenada's, rainforests. Actually, they uh, export timber because of the many forests that are found in Grenada's, and I'm sure even Jamaica, they export timber. So these are the similarities between the Grenada's island and the Jamaican island. The means of transport, we saw the buses, and we also saw the buses in Jamaica, and we saw the buses in uh, Grenada's, and we have buses here in Kenya. We also saw uh, buses in, Tr in Trinidad, and we also saw that the buses in Trinidad, or the small van that carries people for transportation in uh, Trinidad, they have a yellow line. Here in Kenya, we have a yellow line for public transport buses and vans can you see we are one so all this we are finding a lot of similarity and a lot of uh yeah a lot of similarity with the islands and even here in kenya let me come to kenya the similarities between grenada's and kenya did you know the bracelets that we were showing you in the curio shop in the previous video I saw them in Grenada's being sold on the streets. The bracelet having the colors of the, uh, like for example in our country, they usually have the colors of the flag, the colors of Rastafarians, and I also saw them in Grenada's being sold on the streets. I also saw, which is common in Kenya here, the shoe maker station. Here in Kenya, there is a lot of shoe maker stations where you take your shoes, for repair and I saw it in Grenada's guys. It was so, it is like I was watching the streets of Kenya. I could see a lot of similarity between Grenada's and Kenya. I also saw in Grenada's, uh, what, what, similar to Kenya. There are those umbrellas that were covering the items to be sold. They are also here in Kenya. And uh, I saw also, St. George's, the capital city of Grenada's, is actually almost like Nairobi, with a lot of uh, countryside vibes. If you go to the, some sites of Nairobi, they have a lot of countryside vibes. 
And I also saw that in Grenada, a lot of countryside vibes, a lot of beautiful houses. Very, very beautiful houses in Grenada, and I really admired the walk around the streets of Grenada, looking at the many people doing their businesses, very busy, very humble, very welcoming, and great people of Grenada Island. And therefore, I really enjoyed. At Grenada also, they grow cocoa. We found that in Jamaica, they grow cocoa and this by the way i thought there is no african country that grows cocoa but i found ghana grows cocoa a lot <laughs> so actually eh, i felt like going to ghana just to see cocoa so ghana they grow cocoa and uh, we found that in jamaica and grenadas and actually in trinidad then there is the citrus fruits they are grown in Jamaica. They are also grown in Grenada. Can you see how similar these countries are? Very, very similar. I also saw uh, what? Nutmeg. Nutmeg is actually the main cash crop of the people of Grenada. I didn't see that in Jamaica. Maybe the people from Jamaica can comment in the comment section whether there is, there is growth of nutmeg in uh, Jamaica. So I saw a lot of nutmeg being grown in the Grenadas. And actually somebody said the country is called the ISO of spices. There is a lot of spices grown in Grenadas and we actually saw the Jamaicans love spicy food. I don't know whether they get their spices from Grenadas or they grow their own spices. They are going to tell us in the comment section below. So there is a lot of spices grown in Grenada, like uh, spices like ginger, cloves, cinnamon. We saw the spices part in the market. I have never seen such great number of spices. They were packed in the market in small, uh, what? Put it into bags, small bags, and there were varieties. This is a country of spices. And I think uh, also, apart from the nutmeg, they export a lot of spices. It is a country that is growing a lot of spices. And I really loved the country. I loved the St. George's, the capital city of Grenada. I loved the environment, very conducive, very beautiful, very welcoming. Because we all saw. So, these are some of the similarities I saw between Jamaica, Kenya, and Grenada. And actually, Trinidad. Trinidad, because I've mentioned that some of these things I could see, they are actually in Trinidad. Some of them are in Trinidad, and uh, we saw all of them. So, guys, we can go to the rest. And actually, I forgot to say, the Rad Skip. As Dimongo was com coming from uh, St. George's, the capital city of Grenada, they were climbing a very, very steep mountain. And she was actually talking about doing exercise there so that she can reduce weight. Guys, I also saw the same thing in Trinidad. I saw a lot of uh, stairs built so that people can be able to climb because of the stiffness of the are they mountains or we can call them what the slopes let me call them the slopes so we saw that they have built stairs so that they can reduce the slope you know when you build stairs they reduce the stiffness of the slopes and we have we saw the mango climbing a very steep slope up and it was very very tiresome she had to sit down <laughs> that is how the landscape of Grenados is. We never saw such slopes in Jamaica, though maybe they are there in some of the parishes because we never visited all the parishes. But uh, I saw in Grenados that kind of landscape. And the landscape was beautiful, the town was beautiful, the people were nice. It was so awesome, just like Jamaica. We have come to enjoy the Caribbeans because of the warmth of the, the, warmth of the people, the warmth in the people, 
the welcoming nature of these people, the great love that these people have to people who are foreigners. Actually, I can say I've never seen people who love so easily like in Jamaica and Grenados and actually to know that because we saw the mango was treated very very well by the people of Trinidad and therefore the Caribbeans have very great hearts they have wonderful uh, welcoming hearts I can say that without doubt because so far we have moved, moved to about four, car, four irads we have moved along with the mango to Jamaica to Grenadas now to Trinidad and uh, African Tigress took, to, took us to Haiti and we found that the people of Haiti are very welcoming and we also saw the beaches in Haiti we saw the crops in Haiti and actually there were mangoes there were bananas in Haiti and uh, Haiti was a great place and we also so the Caribbeans are great people they are very welcoming they are very humble they are very Great people actually. So far, I have not seen anything I can complain about. I have seen very great people in the Irads that we have gone from one place to the other. And we are having to go around all the Irads of uh, the Caribbeans. By the way, there is someone who actually wrote to me all those Irads, St. Vincent, if I remember them, Cuba. Repub Dominica Republic he wrote to me all those islands and I could not believe the way they are many there are so many there are so so many the Caribbeans have a lot of islands though I could see in the comment section someone saying some of the ones that he had written there was one called Intrigue Intrigue I thought I don't know whether I'm separating nicely so someone was commenting that some of those ones are not irads. So I saw there are so many irads in the Caribbean. Some of them we have not yet seen and we are looking forward to go through all the irads of the Caribbean and meet the great people and come to know what do they do for the living, what do they grow, how is their economy, everything about them, their culture, very, very enticing and very very nice because we are coming to run a lot by the way i have, i had forgotten i saw also somebody actually in shane it is shane shane was eating roasted maize we also roast maize on the streets of nairobi on the streets of uh, different towns in kenya so i saw shane eating roasted meat that he had bought from the streets and we do that here in Kenya. I didn't see Jamaica roasted maize. Maybe if there was, you can actually comment in the comment section below. Feel free to tell us where we are wrong, where we are right. We appreciate your correction. We are here because we want to learn more about the islands. And now guys, I think I'll stop at that. See you during the next video and God bless. Kindly subscribe, comment, like the video, share. Share. We really need fear to travel to the Caribbeans. Right now, we are, we cannot be able. But through God's grace, just support us. One day we shall come. See you.